YouTube, Suicidal One. Um, back with another video. Uh, sorry for the light. My bald head is shining too much. I can't really tell. Um, hopefully, it's not blinding y'all. But anyway, today I wanted to do kind of a throwback joint. I know I told y'all that there wasn't a lot of shoes that I'd be copping because um, right now it's kind of a down period for me. There's really not too much out there that I want. Um, but anyway. I'm going to get into my throwback joint. As you can see, you already know what they are. But before I do that, actually, um, just a random pickup. It came in before I did my video yesterday. But it is the Jim Green Foam Posit. You guys already saw them in my video. Uh, my last video, I got my first pair. This is my second pair. Uh, open these up. You can see the one box. Here's my second pair here I know uh, Dub said like I said did that comparison with the copper and the Jim Green because a lot of people are saying oh it's a copper it's a copper it's not copper I don't know if you could tell in this light better than the last one but I mean in hand these shoes I mean, you can't say enough about them it's just pretty dope how they change colors but anyway enough about that today the shoe that I'm going to look at uh, and show you guys is the uh, LeBron 7 Dunkman. And I don't know if a lot of you guys, I know there's a lot of new sneakerheads that are watching my channel. So I'm just going to kind of do a, a small review on this. Um, there's a box right there. I don't know if you can see it. It's a size 13. The colors are black, black, and electric green. I'm just going to pull the box out. On uh, the 7 box, you see it's got the... The different pictures, you know, you got his jersey uh, retired. You also have the, at the high school that he went to, which is St. Vincent St. Mary, just random pictures of Akron, um, you know, things like that where he's from. So anyway, and then you pull the inside of the box out, you got friendship, loyalty, and trust, uh, and then you got it in two other languages. I do not know those languages. I guess I should have researched that before I uh, did this video, but. Whatever, it is what it is. And on the other side, you got the LeBron 7 with the Nike swoosh, not check. And that's the box. Uh, all right, let's get into the kicks. Um, to me, this was one of the best 7s that came out. Um, Arguably, I mean, some people like the All Star. Um, you got the Cool Gray, which is right here. You know, I like these, but definitely not my favorite. These are definitely my favorites of all of them. Um, you got, I mean, mainly I like the patent leather on the toe. It kind of reminds me of the, the Jordan, the 11s. So that's one of the reasons why I like them. But I'm trying to get a little closer here. Um, let's see. Let's see. But you got your, start with the side, you got your black with your electric green fly wire, you know, going through here. It's electric green this way and then black this way, so it gives it a nice transition. Um, and you got your black swoosh with your electric green outline, patent leather on the toe, all the way around the side, come around the back on the inside and back to the front. Um, also on the inside of the shoe, you got your electric green fly wire with your black fly wire, and uh, it's kind of a um, shadow swoosh with the where you can see the fly wire. You got your LJ23 symbol with the crown in electric green there, and also right here on this button, LJ23 with the crown. Anyway, on the tongue, and I don't, with the laces. I know if you've seen my collection videos back when I first started, um, you can see where with the flash on it's got the 3M stitching and the laces. You got your mesh on the tongue. And then you got, I don't know if you can see the, can you guys see that? The Dunkman logo right here in black. And in the black patent right here. And also you got your green, electric green fly wire, electric green swoosh. And then LeBron signature in black. You guys can see that, but 
and then the patent on the to on the rest of the tongue up here. So on this shoe it says James. On the right shoe it says LeBron. And then on the toes you have twenty and three. And that was his number obviously before he uh came over to the dark side, which is a decision I'm pretty happy with. Anyway, on the laces, also on the tips, I don't know if you guys can see the tips, but these are pretty dope. I like these. And then on the inside of the shoe, now these are undies. I've worn them twice. Um, I'm thinking about trying to get another pair so I can wear them a little more. But uh, on the inside, I'll read it first on the on the insignia on the inside it says family, loyalty, community. And then you have what does it say? Passion and fearless tradition on that. And then you have the LeBron James symbol, the old one. With your electric green on the insole. Um, your 360 Air Max bubble and electric green. Right here, all the way around. Obviously that's why they call it 360. Sorry, I know that's a little redundant, but uh, also another thing I forgot on the back, I don't know if you can see it on both of them, you have your L on this one and J on this one, which is what he has on his tattoo on his uh, the back of his arms. I don't know what that is. I don't think I cleaned these last time I wore them. But anyway, let's get to my favorite part of the shoe, which is the sole. Um, it does not glow in the dark. I know a lot of people said that it did when they first came out a while back, and they came out in March of 2010. Pretty sure it was March, but uh, you guys can double check me on that. But anyway, you got your Dunk Man logo on the bottom, and uh, your electric green translucent sole. With I don't know if you guys can see the hologram on the bottom. Yeah, you guys see that? Uh, it goes from LeBron James with the swoosh in the middle, and uh, it's just got those same words in here: tradition, loyalty, family, and. Uh, Anyway, so there's a LeBron Dunkman 7, kind of just throwing it back, showing you guys a little more of my collection in depth, because um, I know I kind of ran through my collection videos, but I do love this shoe. It's one of my favorites out of the LeBron collection. Uh, I was happy when they went to the black and electric green and got away from the the gray and in, in electric green. I mean, I still like the other ones, but, you know, I mean, then they went back to it on, on the um, 8, so, and this looks good. Anyway, um, yeah, so there it is, Dunkman 7. I do not have the Dunkman 9s. Um, I just kind of, I was kind of, uh, I, I just didn't like the fact that they went to such a big release with them and with the GR, so I stuck with these and the 8s. But anyway, for now, uh, that's it. I'm going to cut to an on feet of the Jim Green phone posits. So sorry about the camera angle. Like I said, I'm kind of doing this in a different spot because, uh, um, my normal spots being being uh, taken right now by my girlfriend. So anyway, let me know what you guys think. If you want me to keep doing these throwback vids, I'll bring some more of my collection out. Um, I got. I was. I was gonna think. I was thinking about doing some other things with. Uh, let me know if you guys want me to go back in my LeBron collection or my Jordan collection uh, for my next throwback vid, which I'll probably do next week or so. But anyway, right now I'm gonna cut to the on feet of the Phone Posit Pro. <laughs> Bad baby, bad baby, bad baby, bad baby, bad baby, bad baby, bad baby.